What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you why you miss field goals to the left. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, smash the like button and subscribe if you want more content like this. Um, also, let me know in the comments below what types of videos y'all like. If you like the ones where I talk about tips on kicking like this, or if you like seeing my kicking sessions, my workouts, and stuff along those lines, more like vlogs or lifestyle, let me know what you want to see in the comments below and let's get into this video. All right, so first, let's talk about what actually causes the ball to go left. And this is gonna be, I'm gonna break this down to two things. It's gonna be one is ball contact, where you wrap the ball. Now, wrapping the ball means you hit too far on the outside. So I'm gonna show you all what that looks like. So as a right-footed kicker, if this is our ball that's teed up, if we wrap the ball, that means we hit too much on this outside panel closer to your holder we want to hit right in the seam but if we wrap the ball that means our foot's too far around to the outside and it's going to cause it to go left and normally it's going to be a pretty ugly kick now the second thing is going to be i'm going to break it down to another category called technical errors and so this could just be anything else say you hit really good contact on the ball but it still goes left a lot of times it's just another technical error. All right, so now that we know why the ball actually goes left, which is because we wrap the ball, or another technical error, I'm gonna cover some of the things on what happens and why you wrap the ball, or other technical errors that causes the ball to go left. So the first one's gonna be teeing up the ball with the correct tilt. So if this is our ball as a right-footed kicker, this is correct. We always want the ball either straight up and down or a little bit leaning to the right towards our holder. Some people like more lean to the right and that's fine too. The main thing is we never want it leaning left this way. This is almost always gonna cause you to pull the ball to the left and it's very hard to hit it clean. All right, so the second thing is gonna be your side steps if you're too narrow. So we take our, ba our steps back and when we take our side steps here, if we're too narrow here, a lot of times we're either gonna wrap the ball or just pull it left if we hit it clean. And these side steps kind of depend on your leg swing. Some people are narrow and it works for them because that's just how their leg swing is. But like for me, I have to be wider and that helps me get a better hit on the ball and a straighter ball. Because if I get too narrow, a lot of times I'm gonna pull that ball to the left. Right, so the third thing, and I know you all have heard me talk about this before, but it's opening what we call our drive step. Our drive step is the second step, so you have a jab normally, and then the drive step. So I talk about an approach line from your stance through your plant spot or somewhere in between your plant spot and the ball. But if we open up and we go to the right of that, as a right-footed kicker, a lot, a lot of times it's gonna cause us to wrap the ball. And the reason is, is because when, when we get set back here and we have that approach line going to the ball, we're telling our body like we, that we, if we stay down that line, the ball's right there and that's what we're gonna kick and it's gonna be good. But as soon as we get off this line and we go here, now technically we should be kicking a ball that's farther to the right. So our body has to correct and we have to jump back left and a lot of times we're gonna pull and swing across. So make sure we stay down this approach line cause that will cause you either to wrap the ball or if you hit it clean, you're just gonna pull it left. The next thing is if our plant spot's too close, we're most likely gonna wrap the ball or pull it left as well. So if our normal plant's here, we can get enough room to swing and my swing ends up right there, which is good, right? But if I'm in here and I do that same swing, the ball's hitting on my ankle. And that's a lot of times how we wrap the ball is it hits high on our foot because our foot's too far to the right. So we're hitting that outside panel and we're gonna wrap it. So again, if you get that plant spot closer than normal, your natural leg swing is gonna be out here and you're probably gonna pull or wrap the ball. So make sure we stick to our plant, make sure we're not too close. The next thing is gonna be if we try and swing too hard. If we really try and swing hard at the ball and give it like 100% power, a lot of times we're gonna either wrap the ball or just straight pull it to the left. And this is, it can be kind of a cause of a couple things. 
Um, when we try and add more power, sometimes our steps can get off. And so the timing just doesn't add up and our leg swing and our body's not on the same, same um, page. So the timing's off. And when you try and add more, it's just not gonna time up and you're gonna pull it a left. Um, you can also wrap sometimes doing this. As you get older too and you get better, once your technique's very good and, and your body, it's muscle memory, your body knows it, then you can add more power and you won't miss it as much. But even, I know I still will miss to the left if I really try and add a lot of power. So, um, so yeah, again, the timing is just not gonna add up and also our steps will get off. So if we're trying to add power, sometimes maybe our steps a little longer um, or again, our body's just not timing up right. And the last thing is gonna be simply, we just aim too far to the left. So I see a lot of younger kickers, they just take their steps real fast and just kinda nonchalant. Well, this plays a huge role in aiming your kick. You wanna make sure when you take your steps, you're right behind the ball here so that way you have a target line. So my target line when I'm behind the ball is from my right foot through the ball all the way to the uprights and beyond. So I imagine a line on the ground going all the way to the spot I wanna kick, right? If we don't take the time to line this up and say I'm too far this way, that line's gonna be farther left um, or even the opposite way. But we really gotta make sure we're taking our time and lining this up and then make sure your side steps are again 90 degrees and that way our alignment's correct and if you need more help with alignment i have a video i think it's called like how to aim how to kick from any angle um, and i talk about kind of how to take your steps from the hashes and just i talk about the importance of the angle and stuff like that so check out that video but yeah again if we're just simply maybe either not taking our time with our steps or we're just aim too far left. Sometimes we don't realize it, but obviously that's gonna cause you just to hit it left. Um, or if your steps are off and your distance from the ball is different than normal, then again, your timing's off and you could pull that left. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. If this video helped you out, smash the like button and subscribe for more content. Um, also in the comments, let me know what y'all wanna see. Um, I'm gonna be trying to get more videos out. So let me know what you'd like to see. If you like these videos that I talk about kicking and help y'all with tips, or if you wanna see more like what I do, like in the weight room or on the field, um, stuff like that, or the mental side of kicking, let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I'm gonna be trying to get y'all more videos and thanks for watching.